used to uh, walk around the camp together. And Vivian, she used to say to me, now little bear, don't look down at the ground. Look up at the stars. And I said to her, do you look at the stars? And she said, yes, I look at the stars. I need to look at the stars. And this is when she told me what had happened to her, how uh, the Japanese had shot them on the beach and how she had survived. She said she had a wound on the left side near her hip. And I said, I don't want to see it. She said, now you must promise me a little bit that you will never tell anyone. And I never did. After 13 months, the women were finally permitted to send a postcard home. Vivian was reluctant to reveal the full reality of her situation. Dear mother, sorry to cause you so much worry, but don't. I have not and never will regret leaving home. My roving spirit has been somewhat checked. I'm very well. In fact, I'm close to 11 stone, I'm sure. I hope you are well and keep smiling and don't worry over me. Lots of love, Viv. By early 1945, three and a half years of starvation, lack of medical supplies and torture were taking their toll. Over the next few months, Vivian lost eight of her colleagues. Even facing death, the nurses would apologize for wasting valuable resources and taking so long to die. <laughs> 